Hello, fourth graders. We are going to be taking a look today at the three branches of Wisconsin's government and how they work together. Let's take a look. So the last time we talked, we talked about Wisconsin creating its own constitution and becoming a state. And as it became a state, it also started its own state government. The state government falls under the same formation that our federal government is, except for we have a couple of different names for it. So we are in a type of government called democracy. And a democracy is a system of government that allows its people to choose their own leaders. And how do we do that? By voting. That's how we vote for the people that go into our government. Now, we might not always agree who wins, but we do get a say in who gets to go into office. Our government in Wisconsin is made up of three different branches. These branches work together to create the laws and responsibilities that we need to follow as citizens. The first branch is the legislative branch. This is the lawmaking branch. So this group of people come together to create the laws that eventually get put into place. Their main job is to create laws for all the citizens to follow. Thinking of Riverside in particular, now yours may be a little different depending on where you live, but in Riverside's address, we have Senator Jerry Petrowski and Representative Patrick Snyder representing us down in Madison. We also have the executive branch, and the executive branch is the governor, and the governor is the chief executive. His main job is to put into action and enforce the laws of the state. Then we have the judicial branch, the seven justices of Wisconsin, and they their job is to solve problems when people disagree on what the law actually means. Usually asking the question of, is the law constitutional or unconstitutional? Does it go with my rights or against my rights? If they find that it is against your rights, then they, then they strike the law um, down and it will not pass as a law. These decisions are called judgments. And this right here are seven justices. Our three branches work together to um, create these laws and keep each other in check and in balance. So the legislative branch can't just write a law and it go through. Once a legislative branch writes a law, it goes to the governor. The governor then either signs or vetoes the law. If he vetoes the law, it goes back to the legislative branch and they vote on it again. If they get two thirds vote, meaning a majority, then it surpasses or goes right over the governor, meaning the governor can't strike down all the laws if he doesn't agree with the legislative branch. And vice versa, the legislative branch can't just pass all the laws without going through the governor. After it goes through the legislative branch and the governor, it then goes to the can, can go to the judicial branch and they decide whether it's constitutional or unconstitutional. If they decide that it is unconstitutional, the law won't pass. So all three of these branches work together to make sure that we are being represented well. This image you can also find in your social studies books shows us all the different things we have. So we have 33 senators and 99 representatives. Um, then the governor, the executive branch is really broken down into smaller pieces, but the main one is the governor, which right now is Tony Evers. And then we have the judicial branch, which is those are those three, or sorry, seven justices in the Supreme Court. So there you have it. That is our government, very simple, um, broken down very simply. Um, it doesn't happen as simple as that when a law is put into place, but that's the gist of what kind of takes place. Um, and so it's important to remember that the government is something that we can play part in by voting um, and by making our voices heard. And um, just remembering that this government is, is for the people. So take a look at the rest of the lesson and let me know if you have any questions.